away inside the top. So I'm starting in space, I'm closing the distance. I want you to give you your best favorite tie-up. Alright? Your most successful attacks, your favorite tie-up. Alright? What you hit your most successful attack for. Alright? And again, you might be lost for the next three minutes before we go to lunch. But guess what? You're actively engaged in trying to get from point A to maybe point F. <coughs> Alright? Me, I'm a fireman guy. I want to I I put the hook on my right side. All right, how do I figure out starting outside the tie, pairing the head, closing the distance, getting to this position to where that guy underhooked me so I can get him? Okay. How do I make that happen? And how do I score it on the best guys? That's what I want you to figure out. This is the problem solving part of wrestling. If we stand over you guys and give you every answer to every test, guess what you turn into? Robots. Turn into robots. You turn into a robot. Because unless I'm programming you, coach is programming you, dad, uncle, grandma's programming you, you don't act. So we're going to give you three, four minutes before lunch to figure out. I'm going to start with a head pair, which most of you guys have never done before today. And I'm going to get my best tie up and my best leg attack. It doesn't have to be pressure release. Okay? It can be anything. That wasn't pressure release. That was just me baiting him to an underhook and hitting him with a fire mask. If you want low single, figure out how to get to a low single. You want high crotch, you want double. You want headlock, you want lap drop. I don't care. Start with the head pair, close distance, and ask yourself the whole time, am I in a good position to attack? Because I might be thinking, head pair, he reaches, I close distance, I bait the underhook. What if the underhook never happens? Okay, what if I'm baiting here and it never happens? I might have to switch gears and be like, you know what, this guy's not going to underhook, but I got pressure. Okay? I'm going to go to my next attack, all right? But we have, if my feet aren't set, if my position's not good, there's no other attack. And then I'm chasing an attack that's never there. We get caught in that rut a lot of times, right? We're chasing an attack that never happens. And then it's like, oh, I'm going to force it. Terrible idea. So you got three minutes. Head pair, work your way to a tie. Best tie, best leg attack. Go. Oh. 